one of the things I wanted to talk to you about is doing my research on your YouTube channel. Uh, one of the most profound videos was, well, couple were the ones of you staring down the camera crying and talking about the anxiety that you're feeling. Would you use the word profound? Yeah. Okay, I don't know if I'd go that because far. I think that's no. Can I, I think drink this on the camera? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, I think that they are very honest and open videos, and like you said, there's parts of you that you don't want to show, but that's the stuff that's the hardest. I think, you know, I'm not talking for you, but for me personally, that's the stuff that I would find the hardest to put out there because you couldn't be more vulnerable than being like, mm. like there was one that I watched where you literally the first 30 seconds you can't even get a word out because you're you're crying. I remember that because I remember my camera was already set up yeah. for this other video I was doing. Otherwise, I wouldn't have been able to do it. But I yeah. literally just pressed play. And I wasn't even thinking I was actually going to post it. I was just alone. And I was like, I don't know. Let me just talk about this. Venting into the camera. Yeah. Um, I didn't even really think too hard about post posting it either. I don't have, um, I don't get embarrassed by things, mm. if that makes sense. Like I, I would say I'm not, it's not super easy for me to be vulnerable in some aspects, but in other aspects, it's like the easiest thing to me yeah. because I just think like somebody once said soul recognizes soul. And I always thought I'm putting this out there for the people who need to see it or, you know, that's kind of was my mentality. Yeah. And what was the, how does anxiety feel to you? In like, okay like describe it oh it's awful i hate it i have it every day yeah i really do i take medicine but it doesn't really help all the time but i just always have this little part of me it's always here in my chest that's like it's almost like angel devil it's mm -hmm. like that kind of balancing act between like positive thoughts and negative thoughts or nervous thoughts and I just, I've really learned just to, I don't want to say I learned to live with it because I don't want to live with it forever, but it's a thing that I have and maybe it's going to go away. Yeah. I don't know. I'm working on it, but it's not to the point where it has been where I really couldn't do anything. But depression is actually my bigger struggle. Really? Yeah. In what sense? I go through big things like this and um, currently I'm actually in a really good space, but I can get... I can get very down. I can get very blue and just sad and blase and tired. Yeah. And um, it runs in my family. What And what brings it on for you? Have you? Is there like a trigger? I think it's like if I'm not taking care of myself or if things in my life start to feel get on top of me, I just sometimes I'll just, it'll feel easier at the time to just succumb to this mm. so I can put it, instead of like pushing through it yeah um i'm getting better though at getting at, at staying kind of present and taking one day at a time and all of that yeah uh, what do your days look like then when you are going through those moments <sighs> pretty much the same except i have to just power through a little bit harder yeah. but sometimes i really have to take time off like i really will say to like my team like don't call me mm. If, like when I'm going through it, I don't even realize that's what ha what's happening. I just feel tired and I'm like, I don't know, I'm so tired. And then when I, it's not until I come out of it that I'm like, that was a little yeah. depression situation. Yeah. Surprising, but yeah. And have you experienced burnout as well? Yeah. Burnout is real. Yeah. Yeah, burnout is very real. Um, Not recent. I haven't really felt it recently. I actually feel kind of inspired lately. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. And what or do you have coping mechanisms when you are when you when you've recognized, oh, I'm, my anxiety is really my anxiety is very present today or my depression. I'm covered in fleas. Yeah, <laughs> my depression is very <laughs> um, present today. Um, do you have like a coping mechanism for yourself? If I can, I will go to the gym. Mm -hmm. Numero uno. It always feels like the last thing I want to do, but that helps so much. Sweat it out. Mm. Get a little hot yoga in there, do some cardio, just do it. That's one good thing. And then I just try to eat well. Yeah. Because that's another thing that's like, the first thing I want to do is get a pepperoni passion from Domino's. You know it's good. Yes. 
especially when you're not feeling great you always think it's going to make me feel better and then you eat it and you think i feel so great but i also don't (laughs) that garlic dipping sauce though Mm. oh my god and the wings if you get the wings as well and i actually am not a huge i've never ordered the wings i love the wings buffalo sauce or like what are we talking yeah yeah i think it's but i haven't done it in a long time but yeah i think it's normally buffalo god but yeah other than (laughs) wanting to eat and is there any other coping mechanisms then i talk to my mom a lot Mm -hmm. like every day for hours on end although i think she's getting a little sick of me (laughs) i called her the other day i was like hey mom like i just wanted to catch up with you she's like catch up on what i was like (laughs) wow Okay, speak to you next week. <laughs> it's like, I'll try you again in two hours. Someone's not getting a Christmas card this year. <laughs> but yeah, we have a really tight relationship. My mom is so cool. Yeah. Um, so I just like, you know, I've got like a lot of good friends. I talk to them. And, yeah. You know, my dog is my life. Mm. Go get outside. Oh my God. Things can just feel so different after a walk outdoors and a hot shower. Mm. And then turn the shower to cold after. Give yourself love a little that. Whoop. Love that. And oh, that's so good. That's like my favorite thing is oh. warm shower in the morning, cold water to finish it off for like a minute. It's amazing. Are you a bath person? No. Do you have a tub? No. Mistake. I've never really been a bath person. Yeah, I'm taking it. You are. I am obsessed. Really? Like how many times a week? Once at least, but twice if it's a good week. Yeah. Wednesday and Sunday. And do you, do you have like a proper bath? bath time routine yes what is it i actually have an igtv all about it do you (laughs) no that's like a healing space for me is in my tub a psychic once said to me that baths are so great because you're in the tub and all of your thoughts are kind of being kind of almost like meditating are just Mm. kind of being dealt with because you're so relaxed Mm. and all the negativity goes down the drain and straight into the thames 